Hello and welcome to Bruce Springsteen Guitar Lessons. Today's lesson is going to be Frankie from Tracks. Hope you enjoy the video.
welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. So now what we're going to do is go through all the individual parts. Okay, so this song's in the key of F major. There's a couple of key changes later on. Tempo is about 105 BPM, give or take. So reasonably fast, not too fast, not too slow. Let's take a look at the chords first. So we've got an F chord. Um, F over C as I kind of often refer to it. Okay, so it's the same as you play the full bar. Bruce loves this version of this chord. Okay, so third finger, third fret A, little finger, third fret D, middle finger, second fret G, barring your first fret on the B and the E strings, your first finger. Cool, and then we've got a D minor chord. Um, I like to play it like this just because it's an easier transition from the F to the D minor, which we're doing most of the song. Uh, so here, you can kind of leave that part of the F chord down and then just move your little finger to the third fret B string, or you can play it first, second, and third. So I'm playing it second finger, so middle finger, second fret G, little finger, third fret B, first finger, first fret high E. Let's jump from the D string. Uh, and I've got a few different types of C chord. We've got an open C, third finger, third fret A, middle finger, second fret D, first finger, first fret B. We've got the A shaped bar. C chord, so bar the third fret from the A string, use your third finger to bar the D, G and the B strings, okay? And then also temporarily we've got the C over G chord, basically playing, say if you're playing the full bar. Um, barring the eighth fret, um, so these are all basically C chords. Um, eighth fret of B and the E string, middle finger, ninth fret, um, G, third finger, um, tenth fret, A, little finger, tenth fret, D. They're kind of three types of C chord. Okay, we've got a fair few versions of B flat here. We've got the B flat we've been using throughout, using your first finger to bar the first fret from the A string, third finger, uh, third fret barring the D, G, and the B strings. And they've also got a B flat minor. So if you just do your middle finger, second fret, keep your first finger down, middle finger, second fret. Uh, B string, third finger, third fret D, little finger, third fret G. Okay, and we also got a kind of the B flat um, full bar chord if you wanted to do that version as well. Depending where you are on the neck, you can use either. Uh, so, above the sixth fret, uh, all six strings, middle finger, uh, seventh fret G, third finger, uh, where are we? Eighth fret uh, A string, little finger. 8th fret D. So that's a full B flat. Now if you just play, break that off a little bit, and just use your first finger to bother just the B and the E, you just got a B flat over F. Okay. Uh, in the song structure, which I'll put up on the screen now, I've just kind of got a simplified chord name. So instead of B flat over F, just calling it a B flat, just to keep it nice and simple. Okay, cool. We've also got a G minor over D chord. And in the song structure, just refer to it as G minor. So above the third fret, G, B, and E strings with your first finger, third finger, fifth fret, A, little finger, fifth fret, D. Okay, we've got a fair few chords, mainly because of the key changes, but nothing too crazy. Okay, and then we've also got a G flat over D flat. So again, same shape as your C over G, B flat. Um, just buying from the second fret uh, with your first finger and the B and the E. Little finger, third fret, G. Third finger, fourth fret, A. Little finger, fourth fret, D. Okay, so that's a G flat over D flat. Let's so call it G flat. Move up two frets, you've got an A flat. Okay, cool. And then we've also got an E flat. Same shape as your B flat down there. Just buying the sixth fret and then the eighth fret with your uh, on the um, D, G, and B strings with your third finger. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we've got a C minor. Again, uh, because of the key changes. So it's the same as your B flat minor, just moved up two frets. And I C sus four. So it's like your C chord, but add your little finger on the sixth fret B. Uh, and also you've got another kind of broken B flat, just a, just a stripped down version. Instead of playing it, you've got six, five strings, and you can also got four strings. So eight, seven, six, six, your first, second, and third fingers. Just a little bit more trebly sounding uh, B flat there. And then you've got finally, you've got an A flat over C chord, which we refer to it as an A flat chord. Third finger, 10th fret D, first finger, 8th fret G, middle finger, 9th fret B, and kind of your first finger's got also barring that high E string. Um, which is pretty 
Cool, so yeah, fair few chords there. So don't forget all the song structures will be in the description of YouTube videos. Uh, any chords in brackets means there's more than one chord in that particular bar, so it helps you to kind of break everything down. Again, you can copy and paste it into a word file. Cool, okay, awesome. Okay, so what we'll do is go through this awesome intro riff. Uh, it's worth mentioning um, that the, the, the bulk of the guitar you can actually hear, okay, apart from that intro riff, is actually, I think, there's a lot of acoustic going on. So I have tabbed out the acoustic that you can hear in the walkthrough and the backing track that I've made in this. And obviously, if you want to get the hold of the tab for the acoustic, all tabs on the shop, jsmusicscore.co.uk. If you get it in guitar profile format or guitar PDF format, you'll get all the files. So there'll be two, um, you know, uh, doesn't matter what format, PDF or guitar pro, you'll get all the files uh, that I talk about in the lessons. So we're just gonna do the electric part today. But yeah, so the, there's a capo, I think it's capo fret five, and it's lots of nice intricate acoustic. Again, it's a lot about the piano and the organs in this song. Um, Okay, so this has got this four bar riff, okay? Now behind it, when the piano comes in around two, for example, in the intro, you've got the chords F, D minor, C to B flat, okay? And then F, D minor, G minor to B flat, okay? So that's the kind of, that's four bar phrase uh, that goes underneath it. So you start off with the, uh, so it starts off in F major, major pentatonic, if you're familiar with that. So start off with the third fret um, D string. Then what you do, I use my third finger to kind of shift like that into the seventh fret, slide into the, a little bit of a slide sound. So three, seven, these are all eighth notes. So one and two and three, apart from there's a time beat three. One and two and three and four and. So three, seven on the D, five, seven on the G. Let it tie, then 5G, 7, 5 on the D. And then you gotta go 5, 7, 5, 5, tie for whole beat, then third fret for the final beat of bar two. So those two bars, I'm kind of doing alternate picking. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. Just brilliant, simple riff, but just sounds so great. You got the organ doing it as well. Now that first bar is repeated. And then the final bar is just going five, seven, five, three, and let it ring out for that final bar. Okay, so that's that four bar phrase. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. Of course, cool, so you do that four times in total. The first time on your own, Second time the piano comes in. Uh, well, actually, the first time was with the organ as well. And then rounds three and four with the rest of the band. Okay, cool. Um, and now we're gonna go on to the first verse. So now what you're gonna do, again, the acoustic, I think you can hear, definitely seems to be more than one guitar, so it's something like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Kind of this, this four bar phrase we've got going on. So here I'm doing F over C, that classic down, down, up, up, down, up rhythm with one chord note, six eighth notes, one tied on beat threes throughout most of a lot of Bruce's catalogue as well as millions of other bands. So one chord note, yes, yeah, six eighth notes tied on beat three. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And what we're doing is changing on the and of two. So if I was to count that, I'm going one, two, and three, and four, and. F to the D minor, C to the B flat, F to G minor, G minor to B flat for the final bar. You might find you're doing more of a dead note rather than a tie, so what I mean by that is going down, down, up, uh, and on that second strum is what I mean. Down, down, up, up, down, up, rather than playing the full chord. That's fine as well. And if you play it live, he's probably going to do a little bit more picking with this uh, to compensate for the acoustic that's on the record. So, more like that. Cool, and that's the first verse. So, you do two rounds of that four, uh, uh, four bar phrase. Okay, now we've got that weird key change. Okay, I had fun working this out. 
So I think it transposes to G flat, so just up a semitone. Okay, so what you've got is G flat, down, down, up, up, down, up. Two bars, up to A flat for one bar. And a bar of two, four, meaning there's only two beats in the bar. And you've got triplet chord notes here, so bam, bam, bam. Okay, three down strokes on A flat there, and then back to four, four, E flat. B flat minor. A flat, and the final bar of the first verse, you're gonna go down, down, up, up, down. So A flat here, one, two, and three, and four. A flat to B flat to C, down, down, up, up, down. Cool, so that's the first verse. Again, some interesting, really interesting, again, it's just, this is another classic, you know, uh, alongside songs like Be True, you know, it's another an amazing song that, couldn't make the record because you've got too many good songs. Um, so that's the first verse. Now the second verse, you start off very similarly, but then in that second half of it, it just goes up, uh, everything goes up a tone, okay? So you start off with F to D minor, C to B flat, F, D minor, G minor, do that four bar phrase twice again, and now it's, now technically we're in the key of E flat, okay? So uh, you've got everything, it's almost like everything's a tone up now, okay? So A flat, two bars, B flat, and then one, two, three. So again, same rhythm, that triplet, a bar there, two, four, and F, C minor, then E flat, B flat, and you can feel free to change it. If you don't like that B flat, you can do that one there. It's not gonna sound that much different. Um, so that's the uh, second verse. It's also exactly the same as the third verse. It keeps that same key, cha key change from F to E flat in the second verse and the third verse. Cool, now we've got the, uh, a first break. So here you've just gotten that four bar phrase once. Cool, then it transposes to E flat again, okay? So I uh, really love this bit. Um, so down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. So that's the strumming. Down, down, up, up, down. And then this bar four, you're gonna go down, you're gonna get a bit earlier to the B flat. Down, down, up, up, down. The strumming there, so you've got E flat to B flat, A flat to B flat, E flat to B flat, A flat to B flat. So that's the structure of the chords there. Counting wise, one, two, and three, and four. Okay, one chord note, uh, four eighth notes, but one of them is tied on beat three, and then a chord note at the end. So one, two, and three, and four. Down, down, up, tie, up, and then B flat at the, at the end of the bar. Do the same rhythm for the next two bars. A flat, B flat, B flat. To B flat, and then you're down, down, up, up, down, up. Change on the first up stroke to the B flat. And you start again. So E flat, down, up, up, B flat, A flat, to B flat, and then the last kind of bit. You're going to do A flat to B flat, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 down. down. See. Okay, so there's a final three bars. Okay, uh, this chorus, you're gonna go A flat, one, two, and three, and four, down, down, up, up, down, and the final eighth note, go to C sus four, up, and then tie for half beat in the next part, and then one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Play that again, so down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down. Cool, then you get the harmonica solo. So I just kind of, I'm not good at Bruce, but I was just messing around with something in F major, uh, which is quite cool. Uh, it really adds to this part of the song. So basically the harmonica solo is just four rounds of that four bar phrase, again, which we've done loads already. So four rounds of that. Okay, cool, now the third verse, again, okay, exactly the same as the second verse. Okay, now we've got the second break, which is just uh, two rounds of that classic four bar phrase. We'll do 
that twice. Cool, now we've got the fourth verse, which is where, you know, walk softly tonight, and it gets gradually quieter throughout. And basically you've got that four bar phrase, but just imagine you're just getting slightly quieter. It's, you know, the idea is it sort of breaks down a little bit and then it builds up in that third break. So you're doing that four bar phrase. Let's get gradually uh, quieter throughout. So you do that eight times, that fourth verse. A nice long song, this one. And then you've got the third break um, for six rounds, and it gradually builds up, okay? So um, in the fourth verse, gradually get quieter, third break, bring it back up, okay? Uh, and you do six rounds of that. That classic four bar phrase. Okay, and then you do another two rounds, uh, and I split it up in the tab just to show you where the drums come in. Uh, so it's very minimal, and then, you know, the last kind of couple of rounds is a bit more beefed up. Okay, so you've got that same two more rounds of that four bar phrase. Now, the second, uh, that eighth round of this um, third break. Stops down, down, up. So rather than do the four bar, down, down, up, up, down, you're gonna go change on that first, stop on that first upstroke. Down, down, up, three, four, let it ring out. And then basically build up 16th notes, one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and before you get to the outro, okay? Bit of a crescendo there. So that's the third break, okay? And now the outro. Again, it's a bit of a weird one because the guitars are doing something slightly different, I think, from the piano and organ. So I brought it down the guitar a little bit in the mix because there's a lot of kind of sort of sliding, but the piano, yeah, sounds a little bit weird, but it sounds great as well. So the outro, what you're gonna do, uh, E flat to that broken, slightly stripped down B, and then A flat to B flat. And you're gonna do this eight times. Something like this with the rhythm, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. That's one chord note, uh, four eighth notes, one chord note. One, two, one, two, and three, and four. So down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. Yes, yeah, so you've got this kind of cool little slide bits on there. And the acoustic is doing something very cool as well. So you do that eight times, and then you've got these kind of um, musical stabs, what we call it. So one, two, and three, four, for two rounds. Okay, so time-wise, dotted quarter notes here. One, two, and three, ring for the rest of the bar. One, two, and three, four. E flat, B flat, A flat, B flat, those two bars twice. And then it goes back into that chord progression again for another four rounds. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three. So that's number two. Number three. And then the fourth one, kind of just gradual sort of, bit of a messy kind of ending on purpose. On the fourth round, one, two, and three, and four. I would just go A flat, down, down, up, and then end on the E flat. Cool, brilliant B-side uh, from Bruce here. I uh, really hope you've enjoyed the video. Again, if you want to do more of the acoustic part that you can hear more of, I would say, on the record, obviously get the tab from jsmusicscore.co.uk or if uh, you want to get more value for your money, go into Subscribe Star where you get exclusive guitar solo videos. Uh, you also get this part of the lesson with, with chord diagrams and tab. So throughout the whole YouTube video, and you get that on YouTube, uh, subscribe star if you sign up for the Bruce Legend tiers. Don't forget all song requests are done via subscribe star as uh, so a monthly poll, which is quite cool. So yeah, any questions about subscribe star? Um, so files are accessed all via jsmusicscore.co.uk and codes are sent out um, on the seventh of, month, of the month if you're on subscribe star. I have to answer any questions about any of that stuff. Thanks again for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, hit that bell I've, 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 eh, notification if you haven't already. Any comments, let me know. Uh, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye. <laughs>
you'd like to get guitar profiles, tab PDFs, backing tracks from any of these tutorials, head over to either the Subscribe Star page or my website, jsmusicschool.co.uk. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Thanks very much. See you on the next one.